I love that intro so freaking much. That was something I made yesterday, also in Plexus, which is why I figured might as well stick it on here, even though it's mainly an intro for my sports content. But the project files for that are all in its video's description, which I'll link to on screen right about now. Now, so if you want, go and check that out, see how that was done. Now, first things first, I've got a new audio setup because talking into a computer microphone just sounds horrible. No one wants to listen to that. And also, I have a cough which makes it sound like I'm dying. So if I miss editing a bit of that out, sorry. Pick either reason as for why my voice sounds terrible, but it's probably just my voice. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. It's basically a mass of Plexus artifacts, all reacting to music. I've set it to the bass, it can be either, as a visualizer for any music videos. So if you're a starting music channel and you need some graphics, feel free. Uh, just to help you out a bit. And it's also got some particle effects in the background. And as you can see, it gets more distorted the more bass is pumped through and we've got the artist information in the top left hand corner. Uh, the camera also pans forward. So if I skip to about two minutes in, you'll see it's got way bigger and that just gradually makes it look nice throughout the video. Okay, I'm not gonna go into lots of depth on the tutorial on how to make the actual waveform because it's just a massive plexus. It's in the project files, which like always are in the description. And it's also based on the intro plexus form. Uh, so you can have a look at that if you really wanna know how it's done. What I'm actually gonna show you is how to alter it, put your own songs in and make it your own because anyone can copy so if you're using it you sort of you have to do something with it so the very first thing you want to do is put your own song in this layer and i've labeled it all so it should be fairly simple but what you do is you right click on the song i'm using alias which is not my favorite song but they need the advertising and replace footage with file and just find something you like. Um, I'm just going to pick something with bass at the beginning because just to show it off really. So here we go. You'll notice that although the song has changed, the waveform didn't, which is a problem. And unfortunately, there's no way in After Effects of making the project complete drag and drop nature. You will need to change anything anytime you alter the song. So what you have to do is go in and delete audio amplitude layer in the animated blah 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 pre-comp. So delete that and it will throw up an error. This is basically saying that it couldn't find the song to make the waveform with. But that's fine, we'll sort that out immediately. Now right click this, which is the composition with the new song you put in. It has to be the top one because this is prepared with a uh, pre keyframe to follow the bass. Um, you can alter this, but just generally leaving it on this is great unless you have a very trebly song with no bass. So right click on this, go keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. This will add a new layer up here. That's the audio. You'll notice the waveform also moved. Very, very easy, just like that. And the one thing you want to do is go open Plexus waveform. And you'll see here this little expression. Don't worry if that looks complicated because all you need to do to get rid of the error that popped up earlier, click on it and back off again. That'll change and your waveform is now fitted to the base of your new song. Brilliant. Okay. To change the artist information, all you have to do is basically the same right click on your album cover replace footage file and i'll go with bada boom that's replaced 500 by 500 works best as it's pre-sized but it's a simple matter to rescale it and to change the text just open that up like you would any other text in after effects 
Bada boom. Scoopity bop 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 potato. There we go. And that's that sorted. If you just wanted to plain copy, like a leech or whatever, um, that is all you have to do to fit your own song in it. But now I'm going to show you the different things you can alter to make it your own. Okay, so the first thing I can see you guys wanted to change is this nice multicolored gradient we got on here. It sort of went really well with the glitch hop shenanigans of the last song, but with anything sort of heavier, eh, maybe not super great. So to sort that, all you do is open the effects of this pre-comp, and you can turn that off or just straight up delete it. That'll make all of it one color, all of your waveform and particles. And if we open that up, you can change the individual color of that by going to line renderer. Here we go, this is all you need to change. And as you might have seen in my intro, I always like dark yellow, orange. Oh, look at that, that sort of grunge feeling. Uh, if you make it really dark, it doesn't look great, so keep it light. Um, yeah, what would go with this? Oh yeah, that looks good. That'll go with the new song. Okay. So like, personally, I prefer it with sort of the glow, but you can also then change the background to better match that. I don't know. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. Right, so that's the colour sorted. Now, the other things you might want to do is change how the waveform actually reacts. So, pick a bassy bit. Here we go. And open up the waveform comp. Now, this is the first time I've played around with expressions in After Effects, but it all works fairly intuitively. It's not super easy, but these are what you'll want to change to change the position of your plexus mass, your waves, all of that lot. So what you want to do is this bit here where it says four star means four times the bass. It's probably a better way to explain it, but the louder the bass, the more distorted the wave gets except at a four times rate. So if I change this to eight and then click off, it'll be double as distorted. And you can use this to affect how much you want your wave to actually bounce around and change. Another important thing is this noise evolution. Uh, I've set that to time. That shows how quickly it shifts. If you don't have any evolution, it looks really repetitive and horrible. You can change this to two times time. If you want it to move quicker, etc. I'm not going to show that because it really doesn't look great. But the other thing you want is the noise seed. The very first thing you should do when you get this is change the noise seed. Or every video you make with this and every video any others make, including me with this, will look identical. Except for the bass pans of the song you've chose, obviously. So just pick a random number and that will give you your unique thing. I think it goes up to like 500, it could be infinite. Yeah. So mess around with that until you find one you like. Another thing you might want to do, depending on how your style goes, is get the artist information up the top here to fade out after a certain amount of time. So to do that, do it like you would any other. You can see I've got opacity keyframes fading it in at the beginning. You can get rid of that as well. Okay, so new keyframe when you want it to start going out and when you want it to finish going out and then just drop that down to zero. Having it at 80 opacity at max looks really good because you can see the waves go underneath it. Or you could if I hadn't have just fade it out. But take my word, it looks far better than fully alpha channeled. Okay, so match up the title blur with these keyframes as well. Bada boom. And you can see it just starts fading out smooth as you like. 
There we have it. If you're interested, make sure to check out the project files on my little website, give it a download. And if it's helpful, if you use it on your channel, send me a link, like this video, and subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, don't subscribe. This is a YouTube video. I'm not going to make you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and as always, keep moving.